Life Audio. Welcome to the Crosswalk Devotional. We're very glad to have you listening. Today's topic is the value of your work for God. We'll be right back after a brief message from our sponsor. You may only be familiar with the Salvation Army by the bells we ring at Christmas. But did you know we also produce a network of Christian shows you can listen to on your favorite podcast store or even local Christian radio station? One of our shows, Words of Life, is a weekly 15-minute show featuring powerful interviews and testimonies. I sometimes call him my, yeah, my angel because I just feel like the Lord put him in my life in the perfect time. When I Engaging about, conversations about topics impacting the church today. About it. And that really gets back to this fundamental question within Christian ethics. What does it mean to be made in the image of God? And I think that's one of the most important questions we can And ask. deep dives into Scripture. This divine appropriation of the Holy Spirit that God now dwells in the believer. That not only Listen to Words of Life on your favorite podcast store or visit SalvationArmyRadio.org to learn about more shows produced by the Salvation Army. Follow the Bible in a Year with Jack Graham podcast today. Begin your New Year's resolution with the Bible and see why millions have already started Bible in a Year with Jack Graham. This podcast was created to help you solidify your faith as you experience the story of the Bible through live action recordings and emotional orchestral music. Listen to Bible in a Year with Jack Graham on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts app, or wherever you get your podcasts. Reassurance from God Written and read by Annie Yorty. So, my dear brothers and sisters, be strong and immovable. Always work enthusiastically for the Lord, for you know that nothing you do for the Lord is ever useless. 1 Corinthians 15.58 NLT I wonder why Barb's calling so early. My phone identified the caller as my friend, one I had just seen two days ago. She's a busy woman whose work usually consumes the early hours of the day. I, too, was already digging into my work. As a writer, I had deadlines that beckoned. Some of them even screamed. A meeting later in the day would take a couple hours. My inbox needed attention, and the laundry piled high. I considered getting back to Barb later. I'm so glad I answered, because Barb delivered a message straight from God to my uncertain heart. Do you have a minute right now? Barb asked. Sure, what's up? Well, I just wanted to tell you I was online this morning and read something you wrote, Barb said. I don't always have time to read everything you post, but this was exactly what I needed. Her voice broke a bit. Warmth washed over me. Thank you for telling me that. Compliments sometimes feel awkward, but they're much appreciated. With all that's going on in my life right now, God used what you wrote to speak to me. You need to keep doing what you're doing. With her purpose accomplished, Barb ended the call. I sat and soaked in the moment. Every day, I ask God to inspire my writing. Then I tap words into my computer to connect with readers. Unlike verbal communicators, writers rarely see a response to their work. I sometimes doubt. Does anyone read my work? Does anyone really care? We all wonder from time to time if our work makes a difference if anyone even sees or appreciates what we do. In my previous job as an accountant, the company's bottom line received most of the attention. Later, as a stay-at-home mom, changing diapers and doing laundry didn't exactly affirm me. When I started homeschooling my kids, I thought they'd always delight in learning. Boy, was I wrong. The earthly reward of work fluctuates. 
If you are fortunate enough to receive money for your work, the bank deposit gives you a regular boost. But often, we don't perceive immediate results from our labor. In fact, the outcome may not surface for years. That's why Paul said, Be strong and immovable. 1 Corinthians 15.58 It takes fortitude to work faithfully without visible results. Paul reminds us in the same verse that we should work enthusiastically for the Lord. All-seeing God supervises and applauds your efforts. His Spirit in you encourages you to persevere. Sometimes he employs others, like my friend, to remind you in a human way of the value of your labor. The writer of Hebrews said, Let us think of ways to motivate one another to acts of love and good works. Hebrews 10.24 NLT Barb responded to God's prompt to spur me on that day with her phone call. Do you need assurance today that your work is valuable? God, through Paul, has a message for you. Nothing you do for the Lord is ever useless. 1 Corinthians 15.58 When you wake in the morning and you're still breathing, you have a God-given purpose. Any activity, when done to please Him, will become part of God's eternal productive plan. That includes a student learning at school, a mom running errands, a dad fixing the car, and a retired grandma praying for her family. Maybe God also wants to use you in the same way He used Barb to strengthen the heart of someone who feels uncertain about the value of their work. When you feel that nudge in your heart to pick up the phone or write a quick note of encouragement, don't allow your busy schedule to override his call. When Barb reached out that day, I didn't even ask which article she had read. It didn't matter. I didn't need to know because as the boss... God takes a personal interest in my writing and has the right to direct it in any way he pleases. All I needed was the reassurance that he uses my efforts to encourage and build up others for his glory. He gave me motivation to keep up the good work. I pray that God's word inspires you to keep up the good work too. Intersecting Faith and Life How does God view the value of your work? Who could use God's reassurance through you about the importance of their labor? For further reading, check out Colossians chapter 3, verses 16 through 25. And How Work Makes Us Rich, found at AnnieYorty.com. The Crosswalk Devotional is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Surgeons keep our hearts beating. They do the amazing, help save lives, and so can you. Your CSL Plasma donation can help create 24 critical life-saving medicines that can give Grandpa the chance for his heart to swell when he meets his new grandson or give a bride the chance for her heart to skip a beat on her wedding day. Every plasma donation helps more than you know. Do the amazing. Help save lives. Donate today at your local CSL Plasma Center and be rewarded for your generosity.